I just want to give a quick shout out to EDU Birdie. They're an essay writing company who's notorious for helping people write personal statements, resumes, and even college essays. So if you're interested, please be sure to check them out and please use it at your own risk. Thank you. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Your discretion is advised. What's good, everybody? It's Destin Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. So today we're going to talk about the ass family, the disgrace family. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm here with Me my assistant. Was, though. was good. Assistant! Anyways, so today we're going to talk about the bullshit and the clownery that they've been doing and she wanted to like give her thoughts so it's going to be two perspectives. I know a lot of people always say, Choice, I prefer you by yourself. Well, bitch, fucking deal with it, okay? I need two perspectives. <laughs> I'm lazy as fuck. I need someone to pitch in while I'm fucking this shit up, okay? <laughs> so we're going to get right into this shit. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, and I'm pretty sure y'all seen that fucking video of Austin buying a child a big ass dick. <laughs> Please, bro, put that in a bag right now. Keep that in a bag forever. Do not show that to anybody, okay? Okay. That's your little secret. People were blowing up my DMs with that, and I was just sitting there like. And also, I'm pretty sure y'all heard about that fraudulent ass fucking giveaway that I'm about to go in his shit for. Yep. This year, coming up very soon, we're also going to be doing another basketball charity event. And now, we got something new. <sighs> Anyways, what are we fucking eating? So we're going to get right to the we fucking point. We eat some Thai food. Yeah, Thai food. We're going to get right to the fucking point. I got some pad thai, some white rice. I basically got eggplant stir fry with white rice and a whole bunch of extra shit that I'll fucking explain because I'm hungry as fuck. Yeah, facts. <laughs> mm. I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. Mm. You lazy motherfuckers that take the stick off the shrimp. <laughs> Listen, as far as the Ace family goes, I thought we left these bitch as. I thought we left their bitch asses in 2016 when I dragged them the first time. I thought we left them in 2017. That was 2016? Yeah, that was in 2016. And I thought we left them in 2018. But apparently, their chromosome, XY chromosome fetus fans decided to bring them into 2019. And they bought their shit in 2019. So I'm pretty sure y'all seen that video that resurfaced of Austin buying a child a big ass dick. <sighs> Now, in case you guys didn't know, that video's old as fuck, but it has resurfaced, and that shit was actually posted a year ago. What'd you say? What? What'd you say? What are you trying to get to? You love what? Oh, God. <laughs> you don't need that. Come here. Show Catherine what you have in your hand. Show Catherine. Show her. She said it's a lollipop. <laughs> are you really making me buy this lollipop right now? You really want it? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Please, bro, put that in a bag right now. Keep that in a bag forever. Do not show that to anybody, okay? okay. That's your little secret. <laughs> Guys, I'm in so much trouble. But she said she's gonna steal it if I didn't buy it, so better me buy it. <laughs> you really have to take that lollipop? Yes. Can I show you? Look. I promise you something. Don't show nobody that lollipop, okay? Okay. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Put that away. It was actually posted a year ago on his really? Snapchat, and apparently that's what a lot of people using it as the excuse. People are saying it was a year ago. People change, bitch. Really? There's you bought your child a dick. First of all, he's not young. He's grown. <laughs> like he was a grown ass man. So first and foremost, as far as him buying his child a dick, I don't think that shit was okay at all. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not one to tell people how to raise their damn kids, but R. Kelly has left the chat. <laughs> I don't like telling people how to raise their fucking kids. It's fucked up that he bought the damn dick. Okay, yeah, he bought his child a dick. Y'all still going to be there to support their videos, okay? How the fuck are these niggas at 15 million subscribers? I don't fucking know. Stop watching their shit, and then maybe they won't even be a re They wouldn't have a reason to be as far as they are if y'all just stopped watching their shit. Why? Where was this energy when his... What, what, what was this energy when Austin had tweets resurface of him disrespecting darker-skinned women? Where was that energy? I think it's wrong. But I play devil's advocate because that's what I do. Let's be real here. Kids don't know what dicks are. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't know what dicks are. So, in his defense, maybe he was just like, you know what? 
My kid likes lollipops. My kid saw a lollipop. My kid wants this lollipop. I'm gonna buy this lollipop. She doesn't know what it is. I'm not saying it's right, but that's probably the the mind frame he was at, which I wouldn't do. Like, first of all, why is your kid in a sex shop? Yeah. In the first place. Spencer's is a store where they sell dildos, shot glasses. There's a well, lot of people. A kid shit. shouldn't be in that store in the first place. Why was he in there? Listen, the kid should not be in that shit in the first place. He bought it, she ate the dick, the end, okay? Maybe she didn't Like, know. honestly, Austin hasn't responded to these allegations, and I don't really know what he can say. I mean, what can he say? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, introduce her to something that she might experience in the future. Like, what, what, what are you going to do to excuse the fact that you gave your child a dick lollipop? It was lollipop, she ate it, that's the end of that. It is what it is. I personally feel like... People should worry about the fact that Trump's gonna build a big ass wall to keep the Mexicans and the Middle Easterns out, okay? And come to find out, it actually wasn't his kid. Did you know that? The little girl in this video, that's not his kid. That's actually his wife's little sister. The little four year old girl, that's his wife's little sister. Now that doesn't make it any better, now does it? Yeah, that doesn't make it any better. Imagine if Austin, I walked up to your daughter and said, Here, would you like a dick shaped lollipop? <laughs> How would you feel then? Because you're not giving your kid a dick-shaped lollipop. You're giving somebody else's kid a dick-shaped lollipop. That's she why might I didn't give a shit. And let's talk about this. In the video, I don't know if you remember, he also said, oh, she told me she was going to steal it if I didn't buy it for her. You remember that? Yeah, I was like, okay. That's your little secret. <laughs> Guys, I'm in so much trouble. But she said she was going to steal it if I didn't buy it, so better me buy it. Who raised this kid? Listen. Who raised this kid? This is why I don't fucking like kids. Let, let my fucking child tell me if you don't buy it from me, I'm gonna I'm a steal it. Okay, pretend you're my child and ask me and tell me that you're gonna steal it if I don't buy it. I'm gonna steal it if you don't buy it. Bitch. Go get the switch. <laughs> if you have strict parents, you know what the fuck that means. No! <laughs> Go get me a switch. I'm gonna insert the Michael Jackson clip. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> In conclusion, why do y'all still support the Ace family? Bad jump support them on side of women. I never support those people. Mm -hmm. That's y'all. Weren't you a fan at one point? I was. But it ain't switched up. What about what? You thought be so be so you thought be so fucking money hungry. Yeah, that's what your ass get too. So all y'all motherfuckers get. Listen, I was the first motherfucker to drag them. Now all of a sudden it's a trend to drag the Ace family. <laughs> hey, and y'all really surprised at these people. Y'all niggas clearly ain't watch my fucking videos, bitch. I never did twelve videos on this shit. Okay, next topic. Now we're gonna talk about that fraudulent ass fucking giveaway. Austin is doing a fucking giveaway, a basketball. He, he He's evolving basketball, and he's doing another giveaway. He's pulling the same shit he did before, rotation, and y'all niggas gonna fall for it again. Austin is doing a giveaway, and he's giving out $100,000 to anybody that can shoot 10 three-pointers back-to-back in a row. PSA, I first want to start off by wishing everyone a happy new year. The Ace Family wants to start off this year by doing something fun and entertaining. So next Friday, January 11th, the Ace Family is giving away $100,000 to someone who can hit 10 three-point shots in a row. If you think you can do it, hit us up. I know I can do it. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Ace Family is giving away $100,000. Damn. So here are the rules. Location, Los Angeles. Date, Friday, January 11th. Time, to be announced. We're only picking 20 contestants. Contestants must shoot from 10 different spots on the court. Whoever makes 10 shots in a row first wins 100K. If 20 people shoot and no one makes 10 in a row, everyone continues to shoot until someone wins. We wanna give away 100K. We don't wanna keep it, we wanna give it away. And yes, there is a time limit. Time limit is five hours. We can't be there forever. If no one wins within the five hours, we will host the challenge again later in the near future and the 100K will be waiting for the next shootout challenge. All ages and genders are welcome. If you think you can do it, 
hit us up. If you think your favorite YouTuber or celebrity can do it, make sure you tag them. I also put the video on my Instagram, so make sure you tag them in the comments. Guys, it's a free 100K. You don't have to pay to enter, although we suggest, it's up to you, but we suggest whoever wins donates a portion to charity. You all know, Kath and I love giving back, but it's up to you. It's up to you. So you guys see the rules, right? So as you can see, giveaway, whatever, he's giving $100,000, doing something great, right? Something that a good person would probably do? Yeah, okay, wrong. In case you guys didn't know, Austin insinuated the fact that people were going to have to reach out, and if they reached out, then he would like let you be in the competition. He's gonna choose 20 people. And guess what? A couple hours ago on Twitter, Austin drops the list of contestants that he chose, and here's the list of contestants. So here's the confirmed contestants that we have so far. He got Jake Paul, King Batch, Rice Gum, and Soldier Boy. But wait, there's more. He also got FaZe Rug, YG, Nick Cannon, and Logan Paul. And the next people I see are YBN, DDG, Jordan Jones, Supreme Patty, Jacob Satorius, and Alex Wasabi. All famous and rich people, or at least wealthy people. Oh, all these niggas already got some fucking money, so they don't need $100,000. I didn't know Nick Cannon's $25 million head ass needed $100,000. Listen, Why didn't it's for charity! Now here's where a lot of people get this fucked up. <laughs> It flew right over her head and it flew right a lot of other people's head because he insinuated whoever we give the money to, we suggest giving it to charity. He basically used that as a manipulative tactic to imply that he's giving it to charity or he's implying that the person's giving it to charity, but in reality, he's not. If you listen closely, he clearly said, I suggest giving the charity. So he could literally give that money to YG and YG could walk out that bitch saying, I'm not giving nobody shit. Think about it. Whoa, it's, but then whose fault is that at that point? Whose fault is that? At the end of the day, how does that make you a good person if you sit up here and try to insinuate that you always give back to people, but yet, you're saying you're giving out back $100,000, and you made it seem like it was an open thing. You made it seem like your fans can actually enter to win. To win. Okay. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever is interested, you have about five days to hit us up to enter the contest. Gentlemen, whoever is interested, you have about five days to hit us up to enter the contest. Gentlemen, whoever is interested. The, prob the more of the problem is why, well, the situation, the real pr issue is why is rich people or people who already have money getting this money? That's the real issue. He should have made it one of those things where each player plays for a charity and the money goes to a charity point blank period. Yeah. Especially but after that last stunt. And after, now here's the thing. In Austin's video, he made it clear. The rules are very clear. <coughs> Don't die here, please. Now, if you look at the video, everything seems pretty clear. He, seem, he makes it seem like everybody's welcome to enter. And he says, reach out. <laughs> Every single person on this fucking list is a celebrity or a famous creator who has money and has fame. I'm sure they don't need the hundred thousand dollars that bad, but it's like he implied that anybody could enter, anybody could win the money, and anybody could enter the basketball tournament. And he said that he was gonna randomly choose twenty contestants. And here's the thing: he did say tag your favorite celebrity or tag your favorite creator, but he also said. You guys are welcome to join, meaning you guys, the fans, the ass fam, leg, the chromosomes, the fetuses that support these fucking bitches. That implies that you guys are able to enter, right? Right? Yep. That's what he said. But yet, he, he can't. If you can do it, reach out and I'll put you on. But it's like, says the bitch with 15 million followers, how the fuck are they supposed to reach out? I mean, I guess your email is one thing, but he didn't follow the rules when it comes to a giveaway. When you do a giveaway, you have to vividly, clearly list the instructions in the description. Everybody is dragging the shit out of the Ace family. <laughs> and then he follows it up and responds to his fans saying this. And for the people who are saying, why are we picking any Ace family members for the contest? If you're an Ace family member, 
You know, we <laughs> always do stuff. <laughs> Why are you like that? Members. <laughs> Why did I realize Cause that? Because you know Austin's so fucking ugly and animated, so that's how he kind of reads shit. You know the sad part is? It's not even that people should be dragging that family because it's not really the wife or the children. But he makes everything just so much worse for the entire family. I feel family. like Austin is kind of a narcissist. He's very, like, arrogant, and he constantly brags about giving away. This bragging about being... Generous make you generous? No. Absolutely not. Would you believe somebody they told you they were real? No, you're not. You're going to believe somebody based off of their actions. We believe that you're genuine and we believe that you're generous based off of the shit that you do. And based off of the shit that I've seen him do, he's not. he doesn't seem very genuine. And a lot of people will seem to be, be like, why do you care? How is that affecting your life? Bitch, I don't have a life, okay? I'm here to make a video so I can make some money and pay my fucking bills, okay? So I'm calling this nigga out because I think that's fucked up and I know if I don't do it, nobody's gonna fucking do it. Y'all know Keemstar biased as fuck and y'all know all these other drama channels biased as fuck. So of course they're not gonna fucking do it because the Ace Family fans are fucking ruthless and basically a fucking cult. I mean, it did go over my head, to be honest. So if you didn't point it out to me, I would have been like, bruh, it's for charity. Yeah. But it sounds pretty easy to me. If you think you can do it, hit us up. If you think your favorite YouTuber or celebrity can do it, make sure you tag them. I also put the video on my Instagram, so make sure you tag them in the comments. Guys, it's a free 100K. You don't have to pay to enter. Although, we suggest, it's up to you, but we suggest whoever wins donates a portion to charity. You all know, Catherine, I love giving back. But it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do with your 100k so there it is ladies and gentlemen whoever is interested but he clearly says in the video but he doesn't say it clear enough because he's talking so damn fast and he has so many jump cuts which is a manipulative tactic very manipulative so you would so if his fans would watch it and say oh my god charity 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 oh my god someone's gonna donate charity someone's gonna donate charity. no no one's gonna donate the shit to charity if they don't want to donate to charity it's not a fucking charity event it's a shoot some hoops and if you shoot that shit 10 times in a row you win the 100 grand do whatever the fuck you want to do with it but let's be real here unless you're like legit a pro basketball player who's really about to be out here shooting 10 consecutive three point shots like nobody's gonna win that <clears throat> and here comes an another point i need to bring up austin said in his rules if you like if anyone anyone who's anyone who's shooting if any of those celebrities that he chose don't win He's going to host another event and keep the 100 k He's going to host another event and give them $100,000. And he's going to keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. I think he's doing this on purpose, basically, to see if this does well and this gets millions of views. Because, I mean, now, the nigga damn near got Nick Cannon in this bitch. He got YG, Logan Paul, Rice. Right? Of course, this shit's going to get millions of views. I mean, it's obvious. But he said if no one ends up winning or doing it, he's going to... Hold the money and do it for another event. So I think this is his way of doing it in a way where he has people who are sponsoring the event and he has people who are investing money into it. And if they see that it gets millions upon millions upon millions of views, they're going to invest more money into an even bigger event. That's what you think, really? Think about it. I think they're just trying to bring traffic to their channel. Because think about it. Why wouldn't they want to include their Ace Family members? Why would he insinuate you guys can it's be a part of it? Views. It's not going to get views because he doesn't give a shit about his fans. No, they're the Ace Family. They're going to get views regardless. That shit will get like 3 million views. Yeah, but if you got Nick Cannon, and YG, DDG, Rice Scum, Logan Paul. Yeah. That shit going to get like 30 million views. Easy. Easy. But he doesn't give a shit about his fans clearly. And that's like what's so fucking aggravating. And I feel like... If you still support the Ace Family out of all the videos I done did, out of all the shit I talked, out of all the shit I done put y'all on game, if you still support the Ace Family and you supported them and you're upset about this, wah, 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 <laughs> bitch. That's what you get for supporting frauds. That's what your ass get, okay? It's not my fault you support frauds, okay? Go play outside, bitch. I don't really know what to tell you. If you support these people, then that's on you. Because I've clearly pointed this out numerous times. They've shown their true colors. And I just don't see what's so likable okay. about Austin. It's not they. It's Austin. That's the thing. Yeah, you're right. You can't blame the whole family. You're right. At the end of the day, I feel like Austin kind of fucks things up for everybody because he's kind of like the, the camera hog. He's basically yeah. like the man of the house. So he pretty much calls the shots. And at the end of the day, you're, it might just be Austin, but it is attached to Catherine too. So Catherine gets some of the blame for it considering that they were brand. He labeled it the Ace Family Giveaway Event. 
And who's a part of the Ace family? Catherine. Aaliyah, Aaliyah, one of those. Just call them the meal tickets. They're, they're children. That's why I call them the meal tickets. <laughs> the meal tickets. <laughs> I can't remember they fucking did. Just call them the meal tickets. Ella, right? <laughs> the meal tickets. <laughs> the meal ticket Ella. I don't know. But all I'm saying is this. After Austin got a lot of backlash for saying, you know, we always do stuff for our Ace family members, he realized that that wasn't enough because his fans, even though they're stupid, they're not that stupid. And he followed it up by saying, you guys are always thought of first, but this time he wanted to do something fun for other creators and celebrities. For what? See, that's the for thing. For what? That's, that, the thing. That's, the, that's what got me mad. For that's a what? That's the thing. You didn't say that in your video. So as, so as we speak, people could be submitting like like resumes and saying, hey, can I be in it? Hey, can I be a part of it? You didn't say that in the video. You said this in a tweet. So you're out of nowhere changing rules and misleading people. I'm tired. So at that point, this becomes this becomes illegal. This yeah. is a giveaway where you have to you have to vividly give instructions in the description or in the video. You can't just go out changing rules. You can't do shit like that. Like you doing it on your Twitter is not enough because people still to this day don't even know. It's like, come on now, like, he try he really thought he can get away with this shit. Yeah, like, your biggest platform is YouTube, so you should make another video. Explain the people. Explaining, like, mm -hmm. hey, fuck y'all, we want celebrities and YouTubers. Yeah, we gonna make more money, so, yeah, uh, we don't really give a shit about y'all. We, we got bills to pay. That's bitch. what they need to do, because yeah. nobody saw that. Nobody saw that shit, that's what's so fucked up about it. And I feel like, in conclusion, why do y'all support the Ace Family? How the fuck these niggas have 15 million followers? I'm sorry, but look, good for y'all for making money and looking out for your family. Clearly, they don't give a shit about their fans, but it's okay because what's done in the dark always comes to the light. Ain't that right, assistant? I want to know who he's talking to. But for real, for real, what's done in the dark comes into the light. And I just feel like the fact that he's manipulating and latching onto the fact that he has an impressionable audience that believe everything he say and then he tries to twist it into if you're a real ace family member you understand parents monitor your damn kids you got a whole sociopath raising Listen, your damn child through the phone you're gonna have people in your comment section and they're gonna tell you oh it's not the parents fault parents don't have time to watch your kids parents if you don't have time for kids don't fucking have them Point blank, period. These people are frauds. Monitor your kids. And that's just how I feel at the end of the day. Watch who your kids are standing, bro. They're not good people. These are the people that y'all stand. These are the people that y'all said are inspirational. This is your king. <laughs> <laughs> this is our king. <laughs> Austin. Is a scammer. Period. It's mainly his fault. And it's good his scammer fault. scammer, too. He's smart. Good He's scammer. He's smart. He's, and think about it like this. He told people... Tag your favorite celebrities. Tag your favorite creators. That could have been a hint right there. I feel That's like a hint. That's him saying he know he he has six million followers on Instagram. Think about that. He has enough star power and impact to the point where he can get Justin Bieber's attention. Doesn't mean followers yes. He could say spam Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber will see that shit because he has six million followers on Instagram, fifteen million on YouTube. He has impact enough to the point where he knows his little impressionable fans will do anything he says. So, it's like, celebrities saw that, creators saw that, and said, oh shit, I want to be a part of that, I want to be a part of that, celebrities are involved, I want to be a part of that. Yeah, I feel like it's a tactic to get media attention, media attention, media or, traffic, you know, mainstream this, attention to the channel. And then the fact that he constantly insinuates, you guys know we always give back. I don't even know why he keeps doing that, why does he keep it? You guys know that we always do this. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's just very annoying. Very listen, annoying. Why listen. does he talk like that? Listen, listen. you guys know. We always get back. back. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Like he's so fucking animated that it's, it's annoying. It's like. Oh God, poor. What's his wife's name? <sighs> Catherine. Dolores, the alleged escort. No, it's <laughs> shit. Listen, let me stop. For real, she ain't got nothing to do with this shit. But she is a part of the Ace family and she is attached to the brand. So at the end of the day, whatever blame that she gets, 
that he gets will fall onto her because she's kind of allowing herself to be a part of a brand where he's constantly doing these things. She could easily say, nah, Sweetheart, call it the no. Austin event. Don't drag me into this. If you want to get hate for this, that's fine. But no, take out C and take out E, bitch. Make it the Austin event. She could easily do that. But of course, you know, money is the root of all evil. And bitches sit up real quick when you throw money in their face. When you throw a bag in somebody's face, they sit up real quick. This is all about money. It's a business. I understand it completely. We're in this YouTube field. We're in this industry. We understand people do things for attention and for views and for clout. We understand it. But it's annoying when people try to take advantage of young kids and use the fact that they have an impressionable audience to do what they want. Let's talk about the Kardashians, for example. The Kardashians do shit all the time for attention, but... Aren't those your queens? I like the Kardashians, don't get me wrong, but at least they're real about it. At least they're not gonna say, oh, it's for charity, you know, we're doing this for the kids. Nah, they do things for publicity and they sit there and own it with their big, fat, fake plastic asses. <laughs> they sit on their plastic asses like, mm -hmm, yep, I'm gonna keep fucking my black man and I'm gonna keep, you know... <laughs> making you black women upset. That's yeah, that, that, that is true. At least they wrote about it. At least they own the fact that they're fake. At least they own the fact that they got plastic asses. At least they own the fact that they... Ain't shit. And that they troll the internet and they do whatever they want. And they don't have to label it charity. Oh, it's for the kids. Oh, you know, we love you guys. We, they don't have to do that. They, the A family, they don't have to do They can get views regardless. It's all about the credibility. And that's the thing. God don't like ugly. The universe does not like ugly. If you do fucked up shit and you put out bullshit in the world, bullshit's gonna get spewed right back at you. Honestly, we're gonna include this video. We're pretty much done giving our thoughts. My stomach hurt. I have explosive diarrhea, so... No, honestly, my stomach hurt too. I didn't even eat all my food. Listen, they probably was like, oh, these are niggers. We're gonna fucking... <laughs> Yo, for real, like, I got mad food left. Oh, y'all can't see that. Hold up. I'm not even gonna eat this shit. I got I, this is This is $50 left. worth of food. Oh, hell no. But yeah, we're just talking in circles at this point. We're gonna include this video. Please be sure to subscribe to Yvonne's channel. Link in the description down below. Give your thoughts and please comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this whole situation. And yeah. He, wait, wait. He's wearing my merch. Get my merch. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Friends support mm -hmm. friends. And yeah. That's that. Trace out this bitch. Trace out this bitch. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. Trace out this bitch. Me, you took that crown from me. You disappointed me. You were supposed to join me. You took that joy from me. I had some fault too. But you took that innocence. So I had to fault you.